Right. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Racha Hakodash. All right. Um, uh, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe uh, in this truth and that fear in the name Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Okay. And um, this is your brother Daniela coming back again. And I wanted to give a, I uh, wanted to do a, uh, a lesson, you know, it's been kind of inspired by different uh, videos and different things that have been coming out through the spirit that brothers uh, have been pushing through the spirit. Um, and um, one of them, uh, this lesson kind of spans off of this right here. You know, here it is. You have uh, the brother, uh, the elder Manak Zakba, um, where he is uh, he's uh, speaking with uh, this this couple here. All right, in this out of pocket, <laughs> out of pocket, out of order, you know, uh, you know, woman, Jake, Jake, woman, Salakia. Yeah. You said that already. I All right, out of pocket, Jake, woman. Okay, and, you know, brothers who haven't watched this video, you can watch. You can see how out of pocket she was, man. You know, touching the brother, the brother's beard and whatever, man, right in front of her man. So that's not even, you know, but nonetheless, the video is not about that. But the title of his video was "Christian Woman Hates the Bible but Love Jesus Juice." Right? They hate the Bible and they love Jesus Juice. Now, where is this Jesus Juice coming from, man? Now, it mainly came from who? E. Okay, that cran, that plantation. Christianity Salakia, if my word my my words are uh slurry, man, you know. Uh, uh Salakia. But um uh basically, you know, this 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 Jesus juice, okay, that J C juice it comes from, you know, Esau, man. And and from the time of slavery, right? And then all the way up into this time where he uses our own people to push this this particular the same thing, man. Right? Things that aren't written in the scriptures. Right? Now, I guess I'll title this video. What you have been uh, uh what you have been taught and what's actually written, okay, is is not the same. Something doesn't add up. Here it is, uh, your your pastor, or your reverend, and your Christian church, whatever it may be, the Catholic church, the Baptist church, Presbyterian, Lutheran, whatever, whatever sect of church it may be. Okay, what they taught you, with your with those, uh, so-called priests or reverends taught you, and what's actually in the scriptures, are not the same. Right. So then here it is, our people, especially our people are so deluded, they'll choose what the reverend said over the Bible. They've been fooled into thinking that what their their church leaders have taught them is in the scriptures. So then they get, they get cut once you read the scriptures, okay, once you read the scriptures, because they see that they're both not the same, you know. Uh, and there's a little bit of co cognitive dissonance going on in there. All right, but let's uh, let's get it because our people don't go off of the scriptures, right? We know that we're supposed to go off the scriptures, and let's prove that real quick. Let's start there. Isaiah chapter eight and verse twenty. It says to the law and to the testimony. Okay, the first to the law and to the testimony. All right. If they speak, which is talking about the scriptures, man. If they speak not according to this word, which word? The laws and the testimonies, man. The laws and the prophets. All right, because the prophets had the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. If they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them. What does that light represent? Okay. Wisdom. Okay. 
which the law is wisdom. The scriptures is wisdom. Like King David said, they are light. They are a lamp unto his feet. They light his path. All right. In the righteous and correct way to go. Okay. So. There you go, man. So. Now the question is. Do these uh, church leaders speak according to the word? No, they do not. Right. Okay. One way to tell is they don't go precept upon precepts. Okay. And if they if if some of them do, they they don't they don't match that they don't line the precepts up correctly. All right. But for the most part, they don't go precept to precept. They don't don't they don't believe in, in, in all of the script of all of the scriptures, man. The volume of the book. And the scriptures say, but lo, behold, I, I come in the volume of the book. Talking about Yahweh Shai, man. And it, is, it is written of me. Right? So all the wisdom is in the Old Testament and the New Testament and the Apocrypha, which was taken out. Okay? They try to deem that as not being canonical by, you know, whatever guidelines they made up. Right? So let's get a... Let's get this because uh, let me grab this one right here because our people don't understand the scriptures. Why? One, because they don't read. Okay. And two, they 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 take on the teachings of what comes out of these these church leaders' minds, man. Okay, they don't go according to the scriptures. All right. Really, they go according to what he taught them in their uh, uh, theological cemeteries, okay? Um, let's grab this. It's uh, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 29. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. That's our people. All right, the, 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 the majority... Uh, those those Christians who are still dwelling in that that Christian dogma, they err not knowing the scriptures or the power of the Most High, right? Now, for the most part, it's because they're getting it broken down to them incorrectly, right? And they don't read the whole thing, right? Let's get it, because what does the scripture say? It says, "Blessed is he that readeth," right? Majority of people in these these churches don't read. Now, we're starting to see a trend of uh, Christians starting to re uh, 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 actually have to study more to try to come <laughs> to try to defend uh, uh, their false doctrine. You know, but it's not working. You always get cut. There we go. Revelations chapter one, I believe it's verse three. Revelations 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Right? So he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Right? Prophecy. Okay? Prophecy. That's the thing that cuts everything, man. Prophecy. You can't negate prophecy. You can't go around it. Okay? That's concrete. That's what the Lord said he's going to do. Right? It says, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Right? So, blessed is he that readeth and keeps those things that are written therein, man. Do these Christians do that? No. Because they think the law is done away with. You don't have to keep the law. You know? All right? Keeping the law is loving the Lord and loving your brothers. And sisters, for that matter. Okay? But... You know, if the law is done away with, then how do you show love unto the Most High and love unto your brethren? How do you do that? If love is the keeping of the commandments. You see? Makes no sense. So. Let's go. Uh, let's go here, man, because. 
our people, they don't believe what the Most High says, okay? According to the scriptures, they believe what men say according to their own heart. Let's get it. Um, this is Matthew chapter 15. We're going to start at 7. It says, Ye hypocrites, well did Esaias prophesy of you, saying, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, and honor me with honor me with their lips. Lip service. Yes, I love the Lord. Yeah, the Lord knows my heart. The Lord's with me. I love the Lord. Yep, I go to church every Sunday, sometimes twice a week. I love the Lord. But then you ask these people, do you eat pork? Well, well, yes, I do. Yes, I eat, I eat pork. Well, did you know pork is against the law? Well, the, 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 old, the, the law is done away with. Okay, so I can eat whatever I want. Right? And that's what you hear. That's a. Hey, that's what you heard. Heard this. Uh, this uh, woman say here, man, and she really tried to flip the script on on the elder, saying, asking him, "Do you eat pork?" And he said, "No." Right? Which we don't eat pork. Right? Do you do this? Do you do that? He's like, no. Right? But then he asked her, do you eat pork? She's like, when I feel like it. Right? But it's plain that you're not supposed to eat pork in the scriptures. But the Christians believe what? You don't have to keep the law. If you don't have to keep... you That belief means you don't have to love the Most High. How about that? That's what you're really trying to say. You don't have to love the Most High or, or, or love your, your brother, man. Right, man. I'll say I'll say this, man. These the Christians are some of the worst, the worst ones, man. Some of the biggest hypocrites, right? We just read it, ye hypocrites. Well, did Esaias prophesy of you, saying, man? Okay, and you also got hypocrites who are who are uh in in this Hebrew Israelite uh, uh knowledge, man. Who know they're Israelites, but they still act like niggas, man. You got them too, right? But these Christians are are, are, are very big hypocrites. Those are, that are of our people, you know, especially. You know, some of the hardest people to deal with, you know. Uh, it says, this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Their mind is far from me. Because if their mind was with the Lord, okay, they'd be reading the scriptures and taking heed. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Okay. Taking heed unto the word. All right. But these Christians don't do that. So what you've been taught. And what uh, what you've been taught and what's in the scriptures are not the same. So you got to ask yourself the question. Something, why isn't it adding up? Right? Either one is wrong, one has to be wrong and the other has to be right. Right? One has to be wrong and the other has to be right. Well, your past is wrong. Let's, I'm going to put it to you straight. Right? Your church leaders are wrong. The scriptures is right. Let's prove that. Let's prove that. So lock you. This may be a longer video than I anticipated. But I got to get it. You know. I always think I'm going to do a quick video. But most times it really never happens. Um, So lock you. So let's get it. Uh, this is going to be John, the St. John, chapter 17. We're going to go to verse 17, right? John 17 and 17. The Lord Yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the Son of the Most High in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, all right? That's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It says uh, John 17 and 17. 
Sanctify them through thy truth. He's praying for the elect to sanctify. What does sanctify mean? Uh, to make pure, to make holy. What does it mean to make holy? To separate. How did the Lord separate the nation of Israel from the other nations? The Lord gave us laws. He gave us statutes and commandments to live by our own culture. It's different from all the other cultures of the nations. Right? Okay, the Lord made us a uh, 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 holy man, a special people, as the scriptures say. So, it says, sanctify them through thy truth. This is talking about the elect, okay? Thy word is truth. So, that tells you who's right. The most high is right. What is right? The word, the scriptures, not your, not your church pastor, because he doesn't speak according to the word. There's no light in him. All right? So um this is uh let me get let me get another one. This is um oh let me go back because uh, there was some some more I wanted to I wanted to grab. Right, um, let me type this in, precepts of men, KJV, forgot to type this one in, okay, it's in the same chapter, right, that's 15 and 9, Salakia, it was in the same chapter, I should have just kept reading it says uh the heart is far from me verse 9 right continuing on but in vain they do worship me teaching for doctrines okay teaching for a uh, uh, you know a uh, body of teachings teaching it says the com the commandments of men teaching for doctrines the commandments of Men, what are some of these things that these church leaders be teach uh, uh, be uh, uh, teaching their their congregation, right? Where they be teaching? Oh, you can't have you can't have sex before marriage. You gotta get married first, and then you can have sex. That's the proper way to do it, my brother, right? But knowing when we when we go into the scriptures, sex is marriage. Okay. What are some other things, man? You know, everything was made clean. The Lord said unto Peter, Arise, kill, and eat. That means everything's made clean. But then when you read, see, look, blessed is he that read it. But when you read down the rest of that chapter from that vision, you know that that's not talking about what? Food, animals. It's talking about men. Israelite foreigners to be exact. Okay? These different things that they teach. Oh, the law was done away with. He fulfilled the law. That means it's finished. We don't have to do it no more. Right? Well, really that means when he came onto the earth, he executed or performed the law, statutes, commandments perfectly, and he executed or performed the prophecies that were written of him to be completed in that time. You just got to look up the words when it talks about fulfill. And notice he said uh, the law nor the prophets representing the law of the Most High given through Moses and the prophets representing the prophecies, the things that the Most High said he would do. Which Yahweh was about his father's business. So he completed, okay, some of the prophecies that were appointed to be completed in that time. Because there's more prophecies that still must be completed, fulfilled, performed. Okay? So, you know, uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to just leave it at that, man. Um, right? Uh, th these Christians are going off the precepts of men, but not what the Most High said. 
Okay, uh, right, that's Salaki. There's one more scripture I want to get. Because this is not the um, the mentality that these Christian these Christians take at all, right? What's this? Uh, it says, "God forbid." Uh, this is uh, Romans chapter three, verse four. God forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, right? So, your pastor is wrong in the most highs too. How do we know? The scriptures. Blessed is he that readeth. As, as it is written. Look, oh, look at that. As it is written. You see? Why, why are the prophets in the New Testament and the apostles in the New Testament? Why do they keep... And, and the Lord himself, why do they keep saying, as it is written, as it is written? And referring to the prophets is, uh, um, uh, well, uh, Isaiah prophesied about you people, man. Huh? Why does it keep saying that? Because the Old Testament is relevant. There's prophecies in the Old Testament that hasn't been fulfilled. Okay? The Old Testament is important just as well as the New Testament. Okay? It says that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings. So like here. But it says met the God forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right. That's the point. The Most High is true, and all your, all your church leaders are liars. Okay? So, you know, Lord willing, that was edifying. Uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.